right in this video we're going to look at uh, digital communication this is the third video uh, in a series of four videos on communication the first video is on channels of communication second video on uh, modulation this is the third one and then the fourth one is going to address signal attenuation so without much further ado let's start on uh, digital communication now we'll first of all start by comparing analog and digital signals a digital signal consists of a series of highs and lows highs representing ones or lows represented by zeros in other words these are binary digits numbers to base two the highest number is one in base two the highest number to base 10 what we, we use in, in, on a daily basis is uh, nine so the highest number at base 10 is nine that's why we only count from zero to nine when you're working in base two you only count zeros and ones only so there are no intermediate values in between an analog signal can have any value between two limits it varies in time in an analogous manner to the property uh, the physical property which produces it the voltage generated by microphone is an example advantages of digital signals analog and digital signals suffer from noise and attenuation for long distance transmission signals have to be amplified at regular intervals the problem with an analog signal is that on amplification the noise is also amplified after several repeat ampl amplifications the signal becomes distorted and noisy with digital signals the series of highs and lows can be regenerated and returned to its original form by what's called a regenerator and these regenerator amplifiers which uh, they do filter out any of the noise uh, data circuits are generally more reliable and cheaper to produce than analog circuits data handling extra bits of uh, data can be added to a digital signal to check for errors in transmission digital signals are easily stored in computer memories now let's look at uh, binary numbers a binary number like i said it is a number that is to base 2 a decimal number is to base 10 binary digit is called a bit so we it's called binary digit so we've taken out the nary part of binary and then we've taken out the dg part of digit so we combine together we form the bit okay so binary digit the short form is a bit right then the table shows how decimal number can be changed to a binary number what you need to do is you just raise it to the power of 2 so 32 is 2 to the power of 5 16 to the power of 4 and so forth until we get to 2 to the power of 0 which is 1 for example converting 49 uh, which is to base 10 converting it to base 2 you've got to um, put it in the table here so 49 will be equal to 32 plus 16 plus 1 so 32 plus 16 it doesn't have 2 to the power of 3 doesn't have 2 to the power of 2 doesn't have 2 to the power of 1 it only has 2 to the power of 0 so it's going to be 1 1 0 0 0 1 okay so that's how you convert it to base 2 alternatively what you could do is just to uh, divide by 2 so you divide the 49 by 2 and then uh, you get uh, uh, 2 and then 4 remainder 1 and then you go next you remainder then you take the remainders from down upwards to get here uh, please do comment if you do not understand what i'm saying that should be an easy method of converting but what i want you to remember is this method whereby you just make them stand is 2 to the power 4 to the power of uh, five four three two one zero and then you compare whatever you are having there to the the, uh, the highest digits that is going to be on your number for example 16 again converting 16 to base 2 16 you only have 2 to the power of 4 so it's going to be one zero 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 like that and then 9 9 we're starting off at 2 to the power of 3 so it's going to be 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 plus 1 which is 2 to the power of 0 so it's going to 1 0 0 1 that's how you do so this is very easy now this is a uh, uh, practice problems convert the following decimals into 
uh, binary digits that is so 15 15 is 2 to the power of 3 that's like that so that will be 8 plus 4 giving you 12 12 plus 2 giving you 14 14 plus 1 giving you 15 so it's going 1 1 1 1 but now the the, the question is saying 5 bits so 5 bits which means that you expect to see 5 digits 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 to the power of 4 is represented by 0 because it's not doesn't reach there that is in 5 bits that's why we are seeing here is uh, on the answer 0 1 1 1 1 so this 0 means that we since we are expressing to 5 in 5 bits we need to include that 0 there otherwise if it was 4 bits the 1 1 1 uh, one it would suffice then next is uh, 23 23 so it's less than 32 so we start from 16 so this will be 16 if we say 16 plus 8 you get 24 so it will be out we want uh, what do we want 123 so it's going to be 16 plus 4 which is 20 20 plus 2 22 plus 1 23 so it's going to be 10111 so 10111 there's a 5 bits already and then the next one is 10 so 10 is starting again two so this is going to be 8 plus 2 which is 10 so 1010 1010 but then since we're expressing to 5 bits which means the next digit is going to be 0 so 01010 and then the last one 5 uh, to base 2, we starting here now is 4 plus 1. So it's going to be 1, 0, 1. Uh, but then you have got two zeros uh, before the 1. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 to 5 bits. Then says convert the following into uh, uh, decimals. So when you're converting to decimals, what you just need to do is to put 2 to the power of 0 there, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4. So it's going to be uh, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 16 plus 2, 18, 18 plus 1, 19, because these are all zeros. So the same thing here, 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is 8 uh, plus 4, 12. Okay. And then this one is going to be 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, to the power of 2 there. So that's 4. So the answer is going to be 4. And the last one, 1101, one, to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3. So starting 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. Okay. Right. Then moving on, analog to digital conversion. Right. So we have an analog signal here, which we want to convert to um, a digital signal. How do we do it? We are going to sample. Uh, at different intervals okay so we are given the sampling rate usually uh, so we what do we do we freeze frame that uh, analog signal uh, at a particular time because remember the analog signal is moving with time so what a digital to analog converter does is it freezes at any particular at a certain particular moment and takes this the values and then it digitizes these values. When it digitizes the values, then it gives them as binaries. Okay. Now, when this happens, then we, we will have a digital signal coming from that. So, the sampling rate is very, very important. So, in this case here, the sampling rate or the frequency will be 1 over 100 times 10 to the power of minus 6, which is 10 kilohertz. Uh, so, the sampling, uh, that will be, so, which means every... Uh, 10 kilohertz um, um, so the frequency or sampling frequency is that but the, the the time that we are talking about is from 0 to 100 200 and so forth so that's the one that we are converting this is 100 microseconds so to find the sampling frequency you just say 1 over the time which gives you the sampling frequency so it means whatever for every 100 microseconds the digital converter so analog to digital converter it freezes the waveform and then it takes samples then when it takes the samples it digitizes those samples and then you get some values okay so the value of the sample voltage at each sampling time is converted into a binary number 
that represents the voltage value okay so for the first one um we're going to start off at six so there we are so this we start off at six so this will be uh six because we are sampling there right so it's taking only what is on the axis there okay the values that are on the axis are the ones that you take it lies in between then you just take the 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 one that is below it okay so for it, in this case we are going to take six then after 100 microseconds it's it's still at uh, okay it's, it is now past eight so it's okay let's uh, correct the x's there we've got two four six so this is supposed to be eight there then ten then twelve so two uh, four I think there's a problem with my with my uh with my graphs here because they've moved. It's supposed to start from zero, and then you go two, four, six. So this is supposed to be six, supposed to be eight, this is supposed to be ten. I don't know how I can correct this. I hope I can. Uh, I hope I can Will this be corrected. see okay i'm going to stop the video here and then correct this and then continue from where i have just left so that we we continue with our lesson so it's going to be part one in the part two video so just for now just want to correct this graph and then uh, continue signing out